<clears throat> a lot of um, getting what you want in life and uh, success and climbing up is other people around you or older than you kind of see themselves in you and therefore they want to help you. So I've been put in many different situations where people just, just by talking to them and having a conversation with them, they're like, this guy has the it factor. He has what it takes. His mind is structured the right way to succeed. So I'm willing to bet on this guy right here. So I'm going to help him out. Okay. I'm going to introduce him to that, that guy or this guy I know, or, you know, I'm going to put him in a position here where he's going to learn this, that, and the third, and then it's going to uh, advance his career or it's going to do something to him or, you know, I'm a, I'm a do this favor for him right here because I see this guy has potential. So a lot of that is being able to win friends and influence people, being able to talk in a way where you're confident, you're intelligent um, for your age. So I'm, I'm 23 right now, but as far as being even 16, being talking like this and then speaking with 40 year olds, 45, 50 year olds, they're like, I'm not talking to a 16 year old kid. I'm talking to a, a, a kid that has an adult mind right here. It sounds like an adult. This is an adult conversation. This is not normal. This kid has potential. This kid keeps going and keeps progressing. He's going to be something in life. So you have to have that it factor. And if you're the type of person that's just shy or, you know, oh, I, 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 I don't have good communication skills or, bro, get online and watch somebody that has great communication skills. And when you watch somebody who has great communication skills, look how their, their hands move. Look how they talk. Look how they walk. All right. And study them. And don't be afraid to go out and practice how you talk. Now, a lot of people that you know, they're going to be like, oh, what's wrong with this? What's, what's wrong with you? What's up with you? Why are you talking like that? Why are you acting like that now? You, you seem different. Da, 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 da. Like, don't care about that because they are going to say that. But you're practicing because they're, you, you're not looking for what they can give you. They can't give you anything. Your, your friends, your family, they're not, they're, they're there for their purpose, their, their friends and family. But I'm talking about other people that you don't know out there that might be in a different city or a different state that you network with, but now they meet you because they're not meeting you as the old person. They're meeting you as their first impression of what they see, right? So this is why it's important to focus on, not focus, but make it an important thing to learn is communication skills, okay? Because that will help you a lot. And understanding a little bit about everything. Now, a lot of people might argue, a lot of entrepreneurs and multimillionaires might argue, well, you shouldn't know a lot about everything or jack of all trades. I'm not saying be a jack of all trades. What I'm saying is educate yourself enough so you can have a conversation with any, just about anybody about anything and keep that conversation going for hours because you understand how to ask questions. So asking questions should be like a transcript. Okay, when you're talking to this person, they're talking about farming. You might have watched a video or two about farming. Like I just, I will sit as I'm truck driving and just watch videos about farming just cause. I'm just educating myself on the industry, learning about it, just to learn about it. Because I don't know, I might walk into, I might run into a multimillionaire that's a farmer that has a proven method to become a multimillionaire in farming. But if I don't know anything about farming, why would he waste his time teaching me anything, right? I at least wanna know something, not necessarily be a know-it-all because he knows more than me, but have enough base knowledge to ask him certain questions that are important that piques his interest. Because he's like, oh, that's a good question. You ask another question. Oh, that's a good question. Nobody's ever asked me that before. Like you want to be that guy when you're in a conversation with somebody that's like, dang, you're asking pretty good questions. And they, they keep talking. They keep talking. And they keep talking. Be the sponge. But in order to be the sponge and get information from people, not in a malicious way, but to, to learn, you have to have the ability to ask good questions. When you ask good questions, you're going to get good answers. 
But first, you have to understand how to ask good questions. What are the important questions? What are rele What is relevant? What is relevant? What is not relevant? What's a stupid question that really doesn't make any relevant sense to anything? It's just asinine and a good quality question that makes a difference. What are the differences between um, successful farmers and unsuccessful farmers? Okay. How much time do you really spend a day? You know, what are what are the misconceptions that people think before they get into farming? What are the myths? Da da da. da. Like it's just asking asking decent questions that make people think. There's like, hmm, I've never heard that question before. Not a lot of people ask me that question. But I found that when you ask good questions like that and you, you're you not looking for anybody to ask you questions, people become more interested in you. You seemingly just turn into an interesting person, even though you haven't talked about yourself one bit. You just sat there and asked questions. But it's because the quality of questions that you ask, you just become an interesting person. You're like, hmm, this is a, this is a good connect to have in my circle because, you know, he, he asks good questions. He's on point. You know, his head is in the right space, you know. I don't have to really worry about this dude or, you know what I'm saying, doing some stupid stuff or, you know, he, he's, you know, he's pretty intellectual to the point where, you know, he, it seems like he has some competence. So just remember that good communication skills, ask good questions. Boom. It will be a lifesaver to you and people will be willing to give you things. People will be willing to help you out. People are like, okay, I, I see I see myself in this guy. Something reminds me. He reminds me of somebody. Hmm. Yeah.